Find out what is happening at the library from virtual programming to fun new services. Hear recommendations on books, movies, TV shows, and so much more. This is In the Stacks at Mustang Library. Hey there. Are you like me and tired of this heat already? Well, let's go see what we can find to help us out in the library. So the first drink that we're going to start with today is from this book, Tequila Mockingbird. And now these are all drinks that have alcohol in them, but we're going to make a family friendly version today. And the drink that I particularly liked was One Flew Over the Cosmos Nest. So it says to take an ounce and a half of vodka, but we're going to substitute that with ginger ale and we're just going to eyeball it here. And then it says to take about an ounce of cranberry juice. Next is an ounce of lime. And it says to use triple sec, but since this is alcohol free, I decided to use some orange because triple sec has a bit of an orange taste to it. So I'm just gonna squeeze about half an orange into the drink. I'm already liking the color of this one. So we're just going to stir it up a bit. And I thought it needed a bit of a garnish. So I took a slice of the orange. I'm just gonna put it on the side of the cup here. Nice, family-friendly, fun drink, and it tastes like punch. It's so good, and my coworkers loved it as well. So again, this is from Tequila Mockingbird. All the drinks have literary names in them, and you can definitely substitute ginger ale for alcohol or whatever you wish. The other book that I found that had a lot of really great summer drinks was this one called Porch Parties. So the drink that I chose is called Blackberry Smash. I'm going to use this mason jar because who doesn't love a summer drink from a mason jar? So this calls for mint leaves and these are mint leaves that I actually grew in my own garden at home says about 10 mint leaves, but these are rather large, so I'm just going to pick and choose some here. And the next step, it says, is to add 16 blackberries. And I found out later down the road that 16 is kind of a lot for this size drink, so you might have to play with the ingredients a little bit. But I counted out 16 blackberries here. Next step, it says to muddle the blackberries and the mint together. So I'm just going to take this spoon and kind of smash them up. Really get that blackberry and mint texture mixed together. This would be great if you had a, a mortar and pestle. So you can see this is quite has quite the pulp. This is what it looks like down inside there. There's a lot of juicy ingredients in the bottom there. Next step was for a half a cup of whiskey, but we're gonna do that half cup of ginger ale and I'm really just eyeballing this again. I'm just gonna fill it up as much as I think it needs. And then it calls for an ounce of lemon juice. And then it calls for two ounces of simple syrup. So remember I said in the beginning that this calls for whiskey, not ginger ale. But since we're using ginger ale, I think I put too much simple syrup because this drink ended up pretty sweet. So you're definitely going to have to play with some of the ingredients here. The next ingredient in this drink was for ice cubes. So what I did is I froze some berries in some purified water and threw them in the freezer. I love these little ice cube holders because I can just pull them right out. The next step is definitely to stir up all those ingredients because there's a lot in there. So you could drink it as is. And we're definitely going to try that. The recipe does say to add ginger ale if needed. I just love the look of it. It definitely tastes really fresh and summery. And the other thing about using mason jars, of course, is that you have a lid. And you can freeze it, take it to work, mix it up. But you can see all of the ingredients in here just kind of swimming around. So what I decided to do was to grab a tea strainer and another mason jar. 
I filled the mason, the second mason jar up with ice, and it's the same ice with the fruit in it. It's raspberries and blueberries that I had in my ice cubes. Drained the first mixture that I made into the second jar. And since this is a tea strainer, it definitely has a smaller, a smaller filter. So it takes a little bit longer to kind of filter that through that fruit. But um, this actually worked really well because it fit right on top of the mason jar. And then I just took this spoon here and kind of mashed up the blackberries to get more of that blackberry juice in there. And this is also a good way to kind of play with the taste a little bit. So if it's a little too sweet, you can add maybe some more of lemon to make it a little more tart. You could add more ginger ale. This drink was so refreshing and I absolutely loved it. It was so delicious. I shared it with several coworkers and they all agreed that it's a bit sweet, but you know if it was made with whiskey, it would be a totally different drink. So hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope you make some. And please, if you do, let us know what you think, and we can always help you find other books with wonderful summer recipes. Thanks so much, everyone. Hello. Did you know you can access all kinds of different newspapers and magazines digitally through the Scottsdale Public Library? Today, we'll look at Press Reader. This is an app that has newspapers and magazines from all over the world, and in many languages. You can also find American newspapers, including the Arizona Republic. So let's take a look. From our homepage at www.scottsdalelibrary.org, go to Browse, and then Magazines and Newspapers. Many popular magazines are also available through OverDrive and Libby apps through our Greater Phoenix Digital Library. If you're interested in the New York Times or Wall Street Journal, we've got instructions to access each at the bottom of the page. And to check out Press Reader, go to Visit, which will take you to the website where you can read in browser or use the app. Find Press Reader in your app store and download. Signing in is simple. Click Sign In on the web page or in the app, find libraries and groups, search for Scottsdale Public Library, fill in your library barcode number and PIN, and fill in the new user details, email, password, and name, and click Agree. Now that you're signed in, you can browse recommended titles, Top newspapers, four countries, languages, and if you click magazines or newspapers, you can browse by category as well as country and language. You can also search for publications to find what you're interested in. Let's look for the Arizona Republic. When you click on a title, you have the option to find back issues by clicking on the calendar icon. Anything that is highlighted in white is a back issue that you can see or download. Anything grayed out is an issue you can't access or doesn't exist. You can also download issues by clicking on the button to the right of the read button the issue comes up in page view and it looks like a normal printed newspaper. Anything highlighted in green is a link that will take you to an article. If you click on it, it will take you to the text view of the article, which looks more like a streamlined website. To change back, click the icon of the newspaper in the bottom right hand corner or the three vertical dots where you can change to page view. Click Translate to read it in a different language. Here's French, for example. Click on the headphones icon to have the paper narrated for you in the original language. The most honorable. You can advance to different articles and you can go back to the text by Xing out. Navigate by swiping right to flip through the pages 
as well as find different sections and just jump to that next section. If we go back again, notice the icons to the left. The For You button allows you to find your saved publications. Browse, of course, will let you browse other newspapers. The Downloaded button will display all of your downloaded periodicals. Just tap and hold to delete. There is so much to explore and read in the Press Reader app, so don't be afraid to play around as it takes a little bit of time to get acquainted with all the features. Check it out for yourself!